Hi guys, hello and a very warm welcome from me to you and welcome back to my channel. Right, okay guys, we've got the Christmassy feels going on by here. And yeah, this is just literally going to be a really quick 5-10 minute video from me. Um, I've had a few people that messaged me asking me for Christmas uh, Eve box ideas. So I have done these for my children now. Well, I did them last year for the first year. And this is my second year of doing them. So I've just got a few ideas. The boxes are done. So I'm just going to basically show you what I've got so you can get some ideas for your little cherubs. So I hope you enjoyed the video and like I said guys this is just a really inexpensive little box just to get your little ones hyped up ready the night before Christmas just to give them that little bit of excitement. So yes let's get straight into the video. Right okay I'm not actually going to show you two boxes as you know I've got a boy of Blake and i got a little girl of Vea. Uh, Blake is three and Vea is two. Uh, the reason why I'm not going to show you their separate boxes is basically just because I have bought two of everything. They've literally got literally the same, everything is the same in each box. Um, the only difference is I have included like one little present in each box and obviously they have got a different present. But apart from that everything is exactly the same. So yeah, and there's no point me showing you both so I'm just going to show you one box. But these are the boxes guys. I actually bought these boxes last year and I bought them from Asda. I'm not quite sure whether they have got there any more in this year but I'm sure they would have and if they have I'll link them down below. Um, but these boxes were a bargain £2 and like I said they are reusable and I'm using them again this year. So let me just show you the boxes they're very good size as well and they were selling something similar to this in poundland yesterday for five pounds so obviously that's a three pound saving so that that is a bargain so these are the boxes guys and it just says the night before christmas box now i think that is really really cute they're a lovely color and they've just got a space at the bottom for you to put their name i've actually put my names on mine but you can't see them because i've wrote it in silver um, so yeah, these are the boxes. They're a fair size. You can fit a fair amount in here. And to be fair, I don't think they should be like, they shouldn't be ex extra large or anything like that. It is meant to be just a little thing, just a little present, just to get them hyped up the night before Christmas. So here goes. So let me show you what I've got in the boxes. So okay the first thing i've got guys i'm just i haven't put them in in any order i'm just going to literally show you what i've got and i'll tell you where i got them from so the first thing i've got is this little dear santa plate now i've took everything out of this packaging just for it's easier for you to see now this little santa plate um it just says dear santa here is a treat for you a drink to wash it down a carrot for rudolph with love and it comes with a pen so you can actually write the children's names on there so i am actually going to write blake and avea because obviously i'm only going to go have one plate um because i've only got one santa coming to eat so yeah, this is the plate. So it's just really cute, really, really nice little gesture. It'll get them excited to put the milk and the cookies and everything on here, ready for Santa Claus. So yeah, um, this was from Home Bargains. They've got them again this year and they are, I want to say £2 or they might be £2.50. But yeah, so get yourselves one of these. So I also bought um, a little teddy. He's like a bigger version of the elf. I call this Danny. Danny the elf. Hey Danny, how's it going? So yeah, um, this is Danny the elf. This is just a little teddy for them to go to bed with Christmas Eve. And I'm going to tell him that he's watching them just to make sure that they're not peeking and they're going to sleep and they're not up and down looking for Santa ready for the presents. So Danny's going to be keeping an eye. So I picked him up from Home Bargains too, guys, and he was like £3.50, £4. I'm not very good, am I? I should have the receipt tonight so I could actually tell you the legit prices. But he wasn't he wasn't that much anyway. So I thought it was just a good uh, good way of keeping them in their beds. Fingers crossed, I'm hoping. So then I've got... What have I got? Let me see. So I've just got a little pack then of these Santa chocolates. Um, these were from Aldi and they were like £1.40. £1 £1 £1 um, yeah, so a little pack of Christmas chocolates. 
and they can obviously i'm not expecting them to have all these i don't think they will they probably have one or two um so yeah just little chocolates for them because would their christmas eve box be complete without a little treat i don't think so so yeah i got them then I've got these cute little Christmas glasses. If you watched my um, Home Bargains haul, you would actually have seen these. And these were these were $1.49. And they're just really, really cute. They got glitter in them. So I think the kids will just love them. Got a bit of Santa on them on his sleigh. So they can have some milk or things in these just before bed on Christmas Eve. And I got them um, a little toy. Like I said, I want I like them to have one little toy each just to get them, you know, in the mood for opening all those presents, get them excited. I will actually wrap this, guys. The only reason why it isn't wrapped is because I wanted you to see it first. And this is just a miniature little train set. As you know, Blake is obsessed with trains with me at the moment. So um, I have bought him a large version of this as well. And he's had another wooden train set with like a table. And things like that but i think this he will love this this is battery operated and it does go around so yeah i think he's gonna love it so this is it it's just a miniature little train set that was um 1.99 home bargains bargain of a prize one isn't it bargain both got one of these it's just their own little personalized bauble now they've got different shapes but i just went for four star ones these were in home bargains as get as well these were 129 now we have a polaroid camera so i just thought it would be a nice memory if i can get the children to have a lovely photo together on christmas eve take a photo with my polaroid pop it in here and let them pop it on the tree so they've both got one each so i'm planning on having one of blake on his own one of Avea on her own and then one of them together so that is what I'm hoping so that would be lovely so that was the plan with these then they have a little storybook they like the new noisy ones with me so I just bought Jingle Bells I picked this up guys from Aldi and they were 3 99 um, but they should, they retail at $5.99, so $3.99 is okay. Story book, just to read to them before on Christmas Eve, just to get them excited again. And obviously, mine are only three and two, so this is, this is a good story for them. It keeps them concentrated, it keeps them entertained with the singing along, and this will be enough of a read for them, hence the book. So she's got, he's got Jingle Bells and she's got, that's not my reindeer. So yeah, and then maybe I, maybe because they're short stories, I swap them over and they can have two stories Christmas Eve. Because I'm a cool mom, not a regular mom. So yeah. um, Then we've got this activity packs. Now these activity packs include one sticker sheet, one write and draw, one story book one colouring book, one activity book, and six miniature pencils. Now, I thought this would be nice just activity for them to do um, on Christmas Eve. Like I said, they are quite small with me, so I would have got more crafty stuff. Like I showed you, they had uh, make your own snow globes and things like that in Poundland. Really, really good crafts in Poundland. But mine are just a little bit too small for that yet, and I don't know whether they would enjoy that as much as I would. So I've just got little uh, colouring activities for them because obviously they do enjoy this and they enjoy stickers. They love stickers. So this is what I picked up for them. These were from Home Bargain and these were 99 pence. 99p. What can you say about that? Amazing. Said again, mine are crazy about stickers. I might regret this and I'm probably going to have stickers all over my wall but nothing that can't be done. I can get them off the wall, can I? And it's only Christmas once a year, so let them enjoy. So this is um, another Christmas sticker book, this one is. Sticker Activity Fun. And this was, again, from Home Bargains and 59 pence. So, yeah, so I got this um, little book. It's got little puzzles in there as well, little things like that. But then it's got, like, all the stickers. So they will have... I'm sure this will keep them entertained for quite a while. And they will love it. And so inexpensive, guys. So we had that. Then I've got Christmas pyjamas in here. And this is what he's got. These are Blake's and they just say Santa's little helper. But they've got the same, guys. So 
yeah uh, me and ricky have got matching ones as well these were from last year but i bought the size up as well knowing that i was going to want them for this year so sometimes you've got to be a little bit organized maybe that's a bit too organized but i wanted to plan ahead so yeah so he's got pajamas these have been washed ready to wear um so yeah these were from asda last year so you can't really get hold of, hold of these now but they've got loads of different styles of family matching pajamas everywhere you can pick them up from home bargains you can pick them up in asda you can pick them up in matterland you can pick them up in Primark. they are everywhere so if you're interested in them you want you want you want have to search for you can just go to a shop and they will have them um so yes yeah, so we picked these up so you can't really get hold of these ones now unless you go on ebay and they are selling for ridiculous prices because they know people can't get their hands on them so if you've got any of these from last year get them on ebay you might make yourself a bit of money got this little santa mail bottle so the idea of these guys is that you'll take all the plastic off you can take the um, paper out inside, write a little note to your children from Santa. So this is something that I'm going to do. Just basically like, you have made the good, uh, you have been a good boy all year. You have made Santa's list. He is delivering you presents tonight. So go to sleep and wake up to a lovely surprise. So um, obviously I'm going to write two little notes for them. And I think this will hype them up a lot and they will love them. So that is my plan anyway. So that's what I've got in here. And these were from Home Bargains and they were 79 pence. Then I picked up this uh, reindeer dust. Now these can be used guys um, for reindeer food or reindeer sparkle dust. So you sprinkle, the idea of this is you sprinkle it outside um, before they go to bed and it lets the reindeers, the reindeers can see all the reflections from the glitter and it lets them know where you live so they can land. Other people say this is reindeer food so they can eat while santa's in your house delivering your presents whatever you choose to do these were um home bargains 59p so get them but i would advise you get them soon guys because last year they all ran out and they didn't have any left which you will see now so then i improvised last year and i made my own reindeer food if you can see it I actually did cheat with this guys I had these in work last year so it just says sprinkle on the lawn or doorstep at night the moon will make it sparkle bright at Santa's reindeers fly and roam they will guide them to your home so these this is basically if you can't get hold of any reindeer food or you want a cheaper alternative again if you've got some porridge oats in your house porridge oats bit of glitter you have some reindeer food make it yourself diy it and it might even be a bit more fun get the children to help you make it so you could do that as like a little craft activity get the children to help you make reindeer food at home and that will hype them up even a little bit more so especially when they're sprinkling it outside the night be the night before christmas i'm sure they would be super excited so there is that thing i got i absolutely love in this this uh hot chocolate reindeer corn these are super easy to make i actually made these myself guys the bags you can get in home bargains and the little bits i did actually get from work um because i'm lucky that that i work in a field where i can access things like this but these are you can pick all these little bits up from home bargains as well super super cheap and everyone's got a, got a bit of ribbon in their house as well so these are really cost effective so it's literally just hot chocolate in here some chocolate drops in the middle and then marshmallows on the top and it makes a perfect little hot chocolate for the night before christmas and i'm hoping that the kids will will enjoy this but they probably won't blake don't even like hot drinks but this will just be a nice gesture in here it looks like a little reindeer it looks really cute and you can do this yourselves as well guys so maybe you could even get your children to like a christmas afternoon so you can get them to make some reindeer food you can get them to make these little hot chocolate reindeers they would they would be lovely you can get them to make like santa marshmallows i've actually done them as well but i can't show you because i haven't got one now but if you want me to do a um christmas crafts afternoon video let me know and i can give you some ideas you can do a christmas afternoon 
DIY crafts Christmas afternoon with your children. Let me show you these that I made. This wasn't going to be part of my video, but I may as well just show you now. Last year, I also made these little snowmen. These are a DIY craft that I done again last year. Got a little pink one for Avea and a little blue one for Blake. I was actually going to make a family one, and I still might do that. So if you're interested in seeing on how I made these cute little snowmen, let me know, and I will do a video for you. They are so so easy, so cheap. You could probably do them with stuff. Well, you definitely could probably do them with bits that you'd find around your house. They're a cute little Christmas decorative ornament, and you'll have people come around saying oh my god they are so cute where did you get them from and you can be like well i made them and not just that if you've got people who are really um love the festive spirit you could make these for presents for people and i'm sure they would be very grateful of something that is homemade so yeah so that is it for me guys I just want to say as well guys the total cost of those Christmas Eve boxes was probably in the region of 17 to 20 pounds now I could have done them I could have done them a lot cheaper again if I didn't pay didn't pay the pajamas and little bits like that like obviously the pajamas was like seven pound the book was three was four pound so there's ten pound there so I only spent literally between seven and ten pound on all the rest of the box and that's included in the box so I think that is a you know really really good but if you are looking for a cheaper alternative um, I was in Aldi's this week and they have actually got a pre-stocked box for 7 99 and the, I looked at all the stuff that was in there guys and it, it was some really really lovely things so if you're looking for a bit more of a cheaper alternative go and check that out um, there was also room in that box as well for you to add some other little bits to yourself if you wanted to so i'm sure that could make it much more of an affordable box as well so yeah look for cheaper alternatives it doesn't have to be expensive it doesn't have to be extravagant it's just a little gift just to get your children that little bit hyped up ready for santa like I said, if you want to see a Christmas crafts um, afternoon, DIY afternoon, let me know and I will get a video up as soon as I can for you. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, I'm sorry, hun. Um, if you want to see more from me, subscribe. Don't forget to press that red button so you don't miss out on any videos. And that is it. I hope you all enjoyed the video and I'll see you again soon, guys. Bye!